What's going on guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'll show you the cleanest way to add Dear IMGY to your C++ project without using the example. Today we'll make a fresh new console application, we're gonna drop in the IMGY files, we are gonna pick Win32 and DirectX11 as our backends, and by the end you'll have a fully working IMGY window and a render loop. Also, you're gonna have all the files in the description to copy paste when you need to, we're also gonna copy paste in this video because we don't want to write everything. And uh, yeah, quick note, IMGUI supports tons of backends, like OpenGL, Vulkan, GLFFW, SDL. The idea is pretty much the same, you just swap out the backend files depending on your project. Today, as I said, I'm going with Win32 and DirectX 11, I feel like it's the most popular one, I guess. So, without further ado, like, subscribe, and let's get on with the video. Let's go ahead in our, IMG, in our Visual Studio 2022 here, we're gonna create a new project. And as I said, we're going to do a console application. I'm not going to do an empty project. I'm going to do a console application so I can show you how to use the console for debugging as well. And um, then hide it. So let's create a folder on desktop. Let's say I'm GUI example. I butchered that name. Doesn't matter. Solution name, project name is going to be I'm GUI example. And we're going to place the solution and project in the same directory. Yeah, why not? And we're gonna create it here we go let's delete the useless comments and many of you asked me why i'm not using visual studio 2026 i'm still using the 2022 i don't want all the bs ai options for now i'm good with this one we'll change later when it's more stable but here we go this is our main we're gonna quickly switch to release x64 we're gonna do a pre-compiled to see that everything works fine here we go we have our hello world so right now we are gonna go outside of this and we're gonna add our files to imgui so after you've downloaded imgui from your from the github page which you're gonna have in the description obviously it's gonna come like this into a zip file or an rar archive i don't remember so from this root folder we need a few things we need the imgui cpp the imgui.h then we need the imgui demo draw internal tables and widgets widgets optionally but you you should uh, take it as well so all the imgui files from here rec pack text edit true type and i'm config h all of these files here you don't need these dot files you need all these files here so we're gonna copy them and we're gonna go into our imgui folder here oh sorry into our project folder here which is the imgui example and you can place them directly here if you want, but the best practice would be to make a cute folder here and say I'm GUI. And uh, you can place them here, right into I'm GUI folder. So here are the I'm GUI files. Now, besides this, you also need your backends, which you go back here into your I'm GUI folder, and there's a folder called backends. Here you have all the backends, as I said, DX9, DX10, DX11, DX12. GLFW, OpenGL, SDL, Vulkan, tons of stuff, right? So we're gonna pick the DX11. So you're gonna get both .cpp and .header file. And you're also gonna get the win32.cpp and the win32h file. So we're gonna copy them. And we're gonna go back to the IMGI example here and uh, to our IMGI files. And you're gonna paste them here as well. So these two backend files were four, but. Uh, two types you know uh, are what connects IMGUI to Windows input and the DirectX rendering so obviously Win32 to connect it to Windows input DX2 connect it to DirectX rendering because IMGUI cannot run by itself it's a new UI library anyways now we have the files but we are not done obviously we have to go into our project and actually connect them because right now they're just placed there they're not even added to our solution so here's what I want you to do. You can go ahead and first create here a folder um, into source files. You can add a new filter. You can type I'm GUI. And here in this I'm GUI, you're going to go ahead and add existing items. Go to your I'm GUI here and you're going to copy everything and you're going to click add. Here we go. We have all the files here. And obviously that's not enough. You're going to go to your oopsie you're gonna go to your imgui example here to the properties of your of your project 
and you're gonna go to CC++ here where it says CC++ and you're gonna go to general then include additional directories so here into general additional include directories and um, if you didn't do the backend separately then you're simply gonna add the IMGUI folder you're gonna click select folder and you're gonna click OK and here you're gonna click apply after you clicked apply you are done with this part and you also now have to link your libraries so this is to resolve the directx symbols and stuff and it's pretty important pretty easy to do but this differs uh, depending on the backends you chosen so for today's backends we're gonna go to linker then input and here somewhere is gonna say what additional dependencies here we go they're already written and for additional dependencies you're gonna type d3d11 which is for directx.lib and we also need the xgi.lib this is everything for now if we encounter any problems we're gonna solve them later make sure you are on active release and active x64 and you're gonna click ok and uh, here we go we have all we have everything included all the IMGUI files are in our source here and um, we also have the the input libraries and stuff so now we need the base codes we're gonna include here all the codes we're gonna start by including windows.h as well you usually need it ios stream and then make sure you add all the IMGUI elements after and not only IMGUI but as well as tchar the, the d3d11 for directx dxgi and now we can go ahead and include the file so we're going to type uh, include and then with commas imgui and in the imgui folder we're going to include imgui.h which is the main file after that we also need the two backends which again with include imgui then imgui dx 11h and besides it we're gonna get the imgui win32.h <clears throat> i don't think it matters in what order these are put but you should first put the winter I, I don't think it matters right anyways after that we need to add our libraries again so pragma comment lib excuse me if i make any mistakes or unnecessary stuff i haven't worked with i'm trying quite some time but so many of you requested this tutorial that it must have been done so first include your d3d11.lib and after that you can copy paste this beautiful thing again and you're gonna include the dxgi i believe dxgi okay i wrote it perfectly and from here on out it's some copy paste because it's the definition of imgui which, to be honest, I've explained in the course. I'm going to link you in the description the whole IMGUI course where I explain everything. But there's no point in explaining it in it now because we're just going to copy paste and include it in our project. So, first of all, we have the definitions here, which are the devices, as you can see. And then the create device, cleanup device, create render target, cleanup render target, and the Windows process. So, through this, we have our inputs. And then let's leave our int main for now here and let's uh, start with the with the actual definition of this function so we get rid of the green underline of course in the description as well we're gonna paste the definitions for all these voids here well one of them is a ball and then the windows process we're gonna paste them here no errors should pop at all as you can see we have all the stuff here so now whatever it's left to do or everything there is left to do better said is your int main which <clears throat> it's not gonna be an int main anymore things get a little bit more complicated it's gonna look something like this int api entry underscore t win main then we have to create our windows window and initialize imgui so you create the window like this we can test the window first if you wish with uh, wnd classes and then you're gonna create a hardware id and use the create window function function i've seen imgui sometimes use create window w or 
create window no create window w uh, i think create window should work just fine in our little example here we're gonna do a pre-compile see there are some issues an unresolved external symbol so this is most likely a library let's paste everything we have to paste uh, right and after that i uh, will we'll check what the what the problem is look i'll paste the whole int main here it's a simple window as you can see simply creates the windows window here creates the context for mgui initializes the um, the win32 and the x11 and after that we have our usual while loop here with a swap chain and between new frame and render i've explained this in the course more in depth you have our actual mgui window so let's uh, let's take a look and see why that um, that error pops with the unresolved external symbol all right so about this error it's a very common mistake so if you get this external symbol error, it means Visual Studio is treating this like a console application because that's how we created it. But since we're using Win main instead of Wayne, or instead of main, we need the Windows subsystem. So, you know, mistakes happen. That's why in coding you can always stay, just take a break and uh, and see what's wrong. That's why I cut the video. Obviously, I don't know everything, and I'm pretty tired and sick right now. <laughs> so um right this is a very simple fix which i'll show you right now you just go to properties then again to linker this time down to system and here you see the subsystem incredibly easy you're gonna change this to windows which is the subsystem subsystem windows that's literally all you have to do you click apply you click ok and now you're gonna click local windows debugger and if i'm not retarded we have I'm GUI, our own I'm GUI base here, created from zero with our files. And this is the same way you would add it to your project and then simply move things into I'm GUI, right? So if you guys like this video, if you found it helpful, thank you for staying to the end. You are amazing. Make sure to hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, join our Discord if you need any help or just want to showcase your projects. And uh, it would also help a lot if you would click that join button if you want. So thank you so much for watching. And uh, yeah, happy new year and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.